Hey everyone, Dominic Lehnert here. And in this video, we are going to have a detailed look at the Stripe API in Integromat. So in this video, what we want to do is we want to add a new subscription to one of our customers in Stripe. So let's have a look at that. Let's get over to Integromat. So if you look at the Stripe modules in Integromat, you can see there's plenty of things you can already do. So you can update prices, you can create invoices, these kinds of things. You can add a new customer. Um, one thing that's sadly missing so far is how do I add a new subscription to one of my customers? So one thing, uh, so what we want to already have in this case is you probably want to fetch the customers first. So you can use um, the search customers module and then you get the customer that you're looking for. And now what we want to do is we want to give this customer that we fetched, we want to give them a new um, subscription they are subscribed to. So uh, first thing you wanna do is you wanna set up your connection. Um, I made a different video um, if you want to know how to set up the connection to Stripe, especially how to set up a test connection to Stripe. So you can just play around with it and check that out. Um, so I'm going to select the um, connection and the three things we need for this um, video basically or for, for setting this up is we want to have our Integromat. You have to have your Stripe account and also the Stripe API is gonna help us. So let's jump over to the Stripe API. This is the Stripe API documentation. Um, and we can have a look at how do we actually create a subscription. So what this is going to tell us is how does Stripe expect um, the information that it needs to set up the subscription for the new customer. And everything we need basically is right here on the right side. So we can see that they, to create a new subscription, they expect a post request. So we go over to Stripe and we select method post. Then we can see the URL they are using. So this is the URL. So we're just going to copy paste that. And we can see here that um, the module in Integromat is basically expecting it from this part here. So we can remove all of that. So just this remains, the rest is going to be automatically added um, in the front here. So we have the URL. Um, next thing that Stripe expects us is, so what you see here in the API documentation is that this is basically how you would um, verify yourself um, when you connect to the Stripe API. Um, in our case, we have set this up in the connection. So this is part of the connection. We don't have to use this. Then we have to tell the API what customer we want to um, work on. So we have to put this as a parameter in the body. Parameter goes like this, customer equals, and then the customer ID. So let's jump over. This is my Stripe account. Um, now you can select the customer, as I said, uh, in reality, you would probably also read that um, from the uh, from the Stripe API, and you would have that information in your scenario already. But for this test purposes, let's just copy the Stripe, sorry, the customer ID directly, put the customer ID in, so we have that parameter. Let's check. Next thing is we have to set what actual item or what what um, what item basically what what's the product we put into the subscription. And for that, we want to copy this as the name for the parameter. And then we will have to copy the price. And if you put multiple um, parameters into the body for a Stripe API call, you just put in this little symbol down here. I don't know if you can see this, this one. So just so everyone can see it nicely. This right here is what you want to have, the end symbol. So we put in the end and then the name of the next parameter items zero. So the, so the, so the first part of the items array and we want to set the price for this. And um, when we talk about the price, this might be slightly misleading. So what um, Stripe does is basically, let's jump over here to the products. Um, the product has a product ID, um, but if you in the API, you use the price. So the, the API ID for a product is called price underscore something, something. Um, but we're not just putting in the price. So it's not just fetching the, the, 
um, price information. So it's not just, it doesn't just know, okay, it's $15 in this example, but it actually knows what is the underlying product that is, that we're actually adding right now. So we have all the information. We have, um, we have a post request request. Um, we have the URL, URL, we have the customer selected that we want to add this item to, and we have the actual item we want to add as a subscription. So let's say, okay, fire. Let's wait a second. It's quite slow today. Boom. Worked. Let's see what we got back. So the input was as expected, two parameters, customer and price. Return values also look good. So let's jump over to Stripe and check out the customer, John Doe. And John Doe now has a subscription for a table. So that's what we just added, $15 starting today, May 27th. That's the day of this video. And that's how it's done. Now we have added a subscription to one of our customers, added a new subscription. So that's it for this video. Um, if you want to help me stay caffeinated so I can keep making these videos, um, just hit up the buy me a coffee link below and you can buy me a coffee. If you want to discuss specific questions or roadblocks you're facing with Integromat, or maybe you're looking to switch to Integromat or, or build a, some application based on Integromat or something, and you just want to bounce off some ideas, you want to go through some questions with me, you can also just buy me a coffee that allows me to set aside some time on my calendar and we can just get together, go on a Zoom call and discuss your questions. My name is Dominic Lenart. Take care and goodbye.